In this video, I'll show you how to sprout broccoli seeds using this inverted mason jar seed sprouting kit. I'll put a link to it in the description. The kit contains two sprouting jar assemblies, each with a ceramic base tray, stainless steel jar rack, and a 25 ounce glass mason jar with a stainless steel mesh screen lid. Sprouting is a simple process of first soaking and then repeatedly rinsing and draining the seeds over the course of a few days. And a common problem is that seeds spoil due to sitting in excess water that wasn't drained off between rinses. This kit keeps the jars constantly inverted, which should allow any excess water to just drain off and also improves airflow to the seedlings. The first and most important step in sprouting seeds is soaking them. Soaking seeds activates their growth mechanism and speeds up the germination process. In this size jar, I like to use two tablespoons of seeds. It gives them enough room to breathe so they aren't packed too tightly as they grow. Cover the seeds with room temperature filtered water, then set them aside to soak for five hours. When time's up, pour the water out of the jar and really shake it a couple times to get as much water as possible out of there. Then I like to roll the jar around to separate the seeds and kind of stick them to the sides of the jar. Then set them in the rack to drain overnight. Last night I soaked these two different kinds of seeds. I'm doing a comparison between some older seeds that I have and some brand new seeds. And I soaked them last night and I'm going to rinse them both and I'm gonna do that twice today. So I'm gonna rinse them now and let them drain. And then in about eight more hours, I'll rinse them again and let them drain. Rinsing seeds is identical to the soaking process except that you don't let them soak. You just add water, swirl them around, pour it out, shake the jar, roll it around a few times to separate, and then set them in the rack to drain. Rinse your seeds twice daily, once in the morning and once in the evening. Nothing too exciting happens overnight between day two and three, although you may see some little white pinhead seedlings burst out of the husks. Just do your morning and evening rinse. I rinsed the seeds twice yesterday, and I woke up today and they look great. See how much they're sprouting? It's really good. So I'm going to continue today rinsing the seeds twice. I did it this morning already once, and I'm gonna do it again in the evening. In this jar, see how they stick to the top from being inverted all night long? Tap it on the countertop just to get rid of the sprouts and put them down into the jar. As the seeds start to sprout more, you'll notice that it'll take a lot more water to cover them when you're rinsing. So if I think of it, I'll pour that extra water off into a nearby house plant instead of just putting it down the sink. And the sprouts look really great today. Tons of activity. Let's have a look. These white tails that have kicked off, and they're, they look like little fuzzy white strings almost. That is not mold. It's nothing bad. That is the sprout itself, and those little fuzzy pieces are reaching out for water. They're actually trying to absorb water out of the air. Don't look at that and think, oh no, there's mold on my seeds. That's not what that is. So we're going to water them twice again today, and by tomorrow, these should be getting near to completion. And these things are ready. I'm so happy with the results. They are so fully sprouted that there isn't even room in the jar for any more. They are bursting out of this thing. Uh, I didn't even rinse them today because the sprouts are so dense in here that they've retained all this moisture. I can see it on the inside of the jar and I'm, I'm just, they're done. They're ready to go. This was an absolute success. This is my new method for sprouting broccoli. I'm not going to try anything else because this was so successful. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time.